idcwoodcraft.com. Hello, my CNC brother or sister. I'm Garrett with IDC Woodcraft, and welcome to this weekend update video. We're here in Madison, Indiana. It's quite a bit overcast, not heavy, but there's a lot of moisture in the air, but it's comfortable outside. It's not raining. Uh, it's a good day for a good hard walk. But I hope that you are going into your weekend. Maybe you're going into family time. You know, get, it's graduation time, right? I got three people that are graduating in my family. Last weekend, I went to see my knee, uh, my stepdaughter, Victoria, graduate with her master's in physician assistant. Now, you want to talk about someone who's worked hard to get somewhere. But weather's warming up, right? And it is time to start getting out, doing the gardening, yard work, spring cleaning, and traveling and family time. So that means we're not gonna be creating as much. But that's kind of the way it goes until the weather turns again when we are kind of stuck indoors. I got a lot of things I wanna share with you in this weekend update video. First of all, I wanna give a big fat shout out to the IDC Woodcraft team. Cammie, Richard, and Liberty who have performed way above what I ever expected. You know, they've made my life so much better, so much better. So it's very, very cool because it allows me to continue to teach you. So I wanna show you something that came in the mail for me this week. And I love getting CNC projects in the mail. I have a whole shelf up in my apartment full of projects that people have sent to me. And this came from our CNC brother, Tim. This is the musical rendition of Onward Christian Soldier. One of my favorite Christian songs outside of Amazing Grace. And I'm always moved whenever someone sends me a project. And here's the reason why. It's their way of saying it's the best possible way that you can say, Garrett, you really helped me get over the humps of creating projects on the CNC. Learning how to design, about router bits, and about how setting up your CNC machine. And I know that you, Tim, here's another one from Larry. It's a pen he made. It's got a picture of me with my new grandson in it, Nikolai. But I know that you have taken the time to think about it, saying, I got to make something for Garrett and send it to him because he really helped me over the hump with the content I've created. And then you go and make it, you finish it, and you send it off to me and you get something like this. I get something like this, and it's, it's so, so moving to me. It's the best possible way that someone can say thank you. Now you see behind me is a halfway assembled Adirondack chair. I started to make an Adirondack chair on the Phantom CNC and shot a live video about it. And I talked about it in one of the weekend videos. And I asked if you wanted me to create a video on how to do this to put it in the comments. And I got such a positive response that I am doing that. So the way I'm doing this, I've been really fine tuning this design because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give it to you. Uh, G-code and the design. And then you can make it and send me pictures of it with you lounging out with a glass of wine or beer. So I started making it on the Phantom here, and then everybody said, show me how to make it on the long mill. Well, okay. So I have been working up the design on the long mill. Now, it's for the long mill 30 by 48. It will not work for the 30 by 30, unfortunately, because some of the components are just too long for that machine, and you would be using way, way, way too much lumber for it. So that's kind of the way it goes, unfortunately. But that's what I'm working on. That video I expect to be out in a week, maybe. So other things I wanna share with you. I get so many emails from people saying, I'm stuck on this thing with my Vectric software, can you help? And it's, it's near impossible to keep up with those emails. Literally, I get 75 to 100 emails per day, right? And so what I have decided to do, if you have watched Wednesdays, I was doing mentoring with our CNC sister, Kate. 
she's gotten pretty darn good with her CNC designing and the finish work and all that. So we are now every Wednesday at 8 p.m. Mark this on your calendar. Every Wednesday at 8 p.m. we do a live for an hour and a half and we will take your questions that way. That way your question will help a lot of people. It's uh, it's inefficient to help with a one-off issue. I don't mind doing that. It does, it does really tax me at times. So that's one of the things. Now, a lot of people have asked about the 1.5 inch surfacing bit. I've run out of stock on that, but that will be stocked up again, I believe at the end of the week. Now we're talking about the ultra smooth cut in series surfacing bit. So this one, I redesigned it instead of the traditional three flutes it's got four flutes and i changed the grind angles to give them longer life and a better cut so the ultra smooth series kind of a different level when it comes to the cnc surfacing bits but that 1.5 inch is apparently in a very high demand so i've got new inventory coming in same with the hog the hog i've run out of stock and that's going to take about three weeks to come in so i'm sorry uh I <laughs> can't do much about the hog, but I do have another one that that is uh, going to take the hog to a new level and I've got a new product that's going to be released soon. I do need to wrap up this weekend update video because you and I have things to do. Me personally, I'm going to be heading up to see my new grandson, Nikolai, and my daughter and my two other grandsons and their family. Um, I'm actually already late, but I wanted to talk to you a little bit. There's something else I want to share with you, and that has to do with a new product. Another new product that I'm coming out with, a new CNC router bit. Now remember, I was telling you that I am out of the hog right now. This is a really, really aggressive bit. It's meant to clear material out, uh, not to leave a good finish, but to clear material out of your cut at about four times the rate that you normally would, it makes your project time go much, much faster. I am bringing out a new product that takes this one to the next level. And it is called the Beast. Now it is very similar looking at least to the hog, except it is shorter in a flute, the overall bit is shorter, and the core of the bit is thicker which gives it uh, an even more powerful, more strong, faster ability to cut. As you can see on the Phantom here, that I am ripping through three quarters of an inch of plywood at 600 inches per minute, and I still have not reached the limit of this. Now, this is, like I said, three quarters of an inch deep at 600 inches per minute at 100% step over. That's how aggressive you can run with this bit the beast this is the one that's going to change your cnc game to even the next level over the hog and how do you like my little picture there my little logo that's because this thing chews up wood man hyper speed roughing end mill oh ah uh, yeah 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 the beast CNC Insiders always get first dibs. CNC Insiders is a email list that I have, and when I come out with new releases, I let them know first, they get first grabs, and they get a discount, the first release discount. So if you want a discount on the Beast when it comes out, then you need to sign up to CNC Insiders. I will put a link down below for that so that you can get in on that list. And then after that, the you know it goes out to the market. And I'll tell you why you might want to be on CNC Insiders if you're not on the list. It's because the last bit I released, the 3 16 compression bit, they wiped me out in four hours, right? It's the first release discount, it's 15%. And after that, then it goes out to the public and even Insiders, that discount is for a very limited time, right? But, um, that's it, so comment down below what videos you want. Have a great weekend and enjoy family. I hope that you got an awesome summer planned and I wanna go canoeing next weekend. Maybe I'll even shoot a video then just to show you what my personal life is like when I'm out doing other stuff. idcwoodcraft.com